Good afternoon my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here and today I'm in Cary, North Carolina and we are here to have a little fun and, and go through this beautiful Chinese Lantern Festival here in 2023. I think this is eight years running this this festival has been going on so uh, this is really cool event I did come here last year and uh, I think in January or it was right at the end of the festival I showed up it actually starts tonight and runs through January so really looking forward to it all new lanterns have been built for this year and I'm really excited because it's already looking cool even in the daytime it already looks pretty cool so uh, I got here nice and early we enter at 4 30 and we're going to start our walkthrough. We're going to look at the food they have and look at all the cool new lanterns for this season. And then if you like what you see, you can come check it out here in Cary, North Carolina. So let's get started. So right here is the entrance where you uh, check in. We already have tickets, so we will be following this sign right here. Enter here with tickets. If you do not have tickets, you can come and purchase tickets that direction down the right hand side and even this entrance right here pretty impressive looking that is a lantern that thing is huge but uh that thing will be glowing as the sun goes down and the lights come on this right here is the magical blessing wall my wife's actually going to push it and let's see what it gives her let's see what her blessing is going to be love <laughs> That's so awesome. My turn. Rolling the dice for the Yeti. Happiness. That's great, because I love being happy. All right, my friends. It is now dark. And I must say, very beautiful. This is amazing looking. Just want to take a moment to show you this is the entrance this is the first tunnel you will come to lantern tunnel very beautiful and it's hard to believe all this stuff is made by hand and then put together for our viewing pleasure this year man this is extraordinary I like this entrance way better than last year's So this is just so nice and it's great time and I've been here for a little while I got here you know it was still daylight today I had an early entry and uh, so when I first walked down through here you know it was still quite a bit daylight it was quite quite light outside so now it is totally dark and everything looks beautiful so illuminated I think these things are so cool you can see them turning on the inside the art that's pretty cool look at that it reminds me of a, a character in a video game I used to play way back in the old Nintendo days I think it was named Kurov something like that a little ball-headed guy shoot fire out of his mouth <laughs> all right let's uh, move forward and uh, get into the meat of this festival because I've already walked around a little bit and I think you're going to be really impressed with this year's Chinese lanterns that they built. They are fabulous. Alright friends, so we just made our way into the main part of the lantern festival. As you can see a lot of lanterns down this way. We have a shirt shop right here. Right here is some kettle corn. We have mini donut booth. And then we have all kind of food items and things right over here sodas they do have beer and wine if that is your thing so a lot of stuff here to munch on to get your lantern festival experience up and running and right here this lantern is actually kind of animated it has some moving parts on it it's called fiery eyes and golden pupils look at that tree right there is that not beautiful but look at the art detail. I mean, it looks like the bottom of this pot is on fire. It looks like some kind of a devil is uh, kind of coming out of the fire there. That is pretty awesome looking. And what happens as the heat 
heats up this pot, the lid will erect. Somebody will come out of this pot. Watch this with the smoke. That is so cool. So that's something that's really awesome about these. Last year they had a little animation. It seems like this year it's a whole nother level to their animation. So you have this monkey that's coming out of the top. Check that out. He's got a cool stance. He's like Captain Morgan. Y'all know who Captain Morgan is. <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. Yeah, that is pretty cool right there. That is so awesome. All right, now we're gonna move to the left and start down this pathway. So next up, this right here is called Stealing Peaches. And that is him. He's got a peach in his hand. He stole the peach. That is pretty awesome looking. And look at the trees next to him. They're all illuminated. Wow, check this one out. This here is down in the food court area. That is pretty cool. Look at his mouth on there. His mouth actually does open every so often. Look at his eyes. Is that not wicked? God, that is so rad. There's his mouth opening. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That is so awesome. We're going to make our way on down through here. As you can see, the swings from right here. They had these last year. And they're a lot of fun. Very, very hard to get on. You have to wait your turn, that's for sure, because that's very popular. The children love those swings. So now we're moving down here in, around the food court. They have uh, quite a few food items. Uh, we have already uh, tried some food. I actually got the uh, Korean fried chicken sandwich. And I must say it was very delicious. And I also ordered some of the pork egg rolls that were very good also. So uh, two very good food items. I do want to say that it looks like most everything here is like, you know, no cash. Everything is pretty much card only. And if you're somebody who likes to have a receipt with your purchase, well, they text it to you or can email it to you, but they do not have no physical receipts that is being printed off. That's a little bit of knock for me. I don't really like giving people my phone number and, and or email all that often if I can help it. And uh, so that's just a thing that you got to deal with if you come to this festival, just keep that in mind. And then right here we have this area. Next to the food area is a place where you can buy all kinds of like, they got some drums over here, a lot of artsy stuff. They got some pandas, obviously Chinese, you know, China is very prominent with pandas, things like that. They got some Christmas balls over here to hang on your tree. So they have a lot of good items here little keepsakes and then down here on the end I want to show you something that they do have I think it's really cool I love this kind of stuff right here check out this like peacock is that not so cool that is so awesome right there all these pigs these little dragons over here really cool stuff and then they got these Jeeps there's tanks back there We've got motorcycles and then if you like elephants, they got you some elephants. You're all set. And then these peacocks are very fancy looking. I really like him a lot. And then these bigger dragons right here are really awesome. I mean, that looks just like right out of Mortal Kombat. Those dragons are so awesome, man. Shang Tsung would be proud. <laughs> okay, now let's get down here. There's where we're going. There's where all the real good stuff. That's why we give them our money when we walk in this place. Let's go check out these awesome lanterns. Let's do it. So right here is the entrance to go into the main part of the lantern festival. Look at this little guy right here. Don't really know what's going on here. I don't know if that's noodles or what it is. It kind of goes over here and it runs into this bowl. And then we have a shrimp, maybe a fish. And then that's definitely one of those big spoons that you would eat soup with pretty cool very beautiful maybe some chopsticks up there and this right here is just gorgeous as we start making our way down down the hill so I want to tell you something if you are a fan of Christmas lights these are not Christmas lights but these things are so pretty I mean coming to the Chinese Lantern Festival is worth it every single time take my money because this is just so beautiful. I mean, just look at the artistic style of this stuff. 
And just to think it was all made by hand, oh my gosh, this is unreal. That is so cool looking. I ain't seen any of these move yet. Cause last year I know they had some, uh, I don't know, some different animals. I can't remember if it was foxes or what it was, but their heads would actually move around. But and speaking of one of them moving right here, look at his head is actually bobs up and down. That's pretty cool. But we're gonna see some more stuff here shortly that has a lot more movement to that. So, so the name of this area here is called Crystal Forest. And it is got a lot of crystals and a lot of wolves. It is absolutely beautiful down here. I love these trees with the crystalline up in there in the top of it. That is so cool. And then right over here behind us, right here building this like water, they have these stanchions that sticks up and you have more crystals and you have this flying creature right here with some antlers mystical and then look up right at the top that big like dragon yeah that is pretty awesome let's walk down a little bit and see if we can get a, a better view of him so this here is called the pulao pulao this here is called the i guess that's how you pronounce that pulao that is beautiful Right there's the ice dragon. So awesome. <laughs> and right here is that Pu Lao Chinese dragon. The same one we've seen on the top way back there. Right here is a little bit closer look at him. Just to see how awesome he looks. It has all this crystalline around him. And then we got another wild one right here. Let's go check it out. This one here is called Bian. Looks almost like a like a cat head a little bit or maybe a lion crossed with some kind of a dragon really long tail on this one yeah and i'm not even trying to <laughs> pronounce that one i'm probably butchering the other ones but look at that thing it's got like deer antlers on it it's beautiful over here all the lights i mean everything is shimmering right here we have some deer check out the deer how all the different colors on this deer his antlers <laughs> did not expect to see some deer here but sure enough i have some very pretty ones very beautiful and then this is actually built right out here on the lake as you can see the reflection on the water it's really really cool looking that effect those has it's like some umbrellas just facing you it's like the top of an umbrella it's really cool love that fish over there it's really beautiful so this here is like a mythical creature it looks like some kind of carp look at that it's got these big wings and then it has like a horn on it like you would find on a on like a unicorn I get it out it's kind of breathtaking just to see this. It's unbelievable. My mind's sitting there trying to figure out what am I looking at. <laughs> so this one here is pretty awesome. It's, this is actually a very mythical style tortoise. And look, the snake is actually along with it. They're actually battling together. And they stand for wisdom. And look at the dragon head like design on this tortoise. That is too cool. And that snake up right away, his mouth's open, I think is pretty awesome also. What a cool detail that they did with this one. Wow, 
That is so colorful. It's like a snake dragon with a mermaid on the back of it. And she's got snakes on her head and horns coming out of her head too. I was gonna say, hey, she's kind of like Medusa, but nah. That is awesome looking too. That is so cool. Look at the colors. How beautiful is that for real? And this here, I guess it's called the Zuwu. He's got like a lion head on a dragon. Look at his wings as they expand and flap. That is too cool and he's kind of resting on his tree limb. All right, that is, that is a good one. Right here we have one called Jade Rabbit. Got a couple rabbits on either side. I guess jade rabbits right here in the middle. All these beautiful design flowers and stuff. So now I'm out here on the water front area and they have this huge boat with this like it's dragon head. You can actually see like some fog machine up in there. Makes him kind of look like he's breathing fire a little bit there. This thing is huge. That's the biggest lantern I've seen so far is this one. That is too cool. But we're gonna take a closer look at it and walk down and see what other moving parts that this one has on it because it is pretty impressive. Here we are in the middle section of the boat. Look at the sheer size of the boat. I mean, this thing is monstrous. And look at like the silhouettes of the people on the inside what a cool detail and then if you look up in the top you have people up there like waving saying hey down there welcome to the chinese lantern festival but you can actually see them moving on the inside i think our silhouettes are a really nice touch i think it's just so cool So this next area here is the Chinese Zodiacs and they, there's about four in this aisle and then they go up, up to the uh, food truck area. So we're just gonna kinda hit these briefly, really quick, cause there is a crowd of people looking at the Zodiacs. What people like to do is come here and find their Chinese Zodiac and take a picture or a selfie next to it. That is a really popular thing to do. So we're gonna start off right here with the rat and we're just gonna move down and around uh, quite quickly, but I do want to kind of document this So the first zodiac we're going to look at is the rat And look at that little guy. That is pretty cool right there. And right here is the ox Right here is the tiger And the next one up we have the dragon He's looking like a dragon snarling and right here is the snake. This is actually mine. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty good snake. And here we go. We have the horse. Mr. Ed, hello there, Wilbur. <laughs> Had to do it. Sorry. Next up, we have the sheep. Check the sheep out. It looks pretty cool. And right here is the monkey. Monkey's got one eye closed. He don't want to look. He must be on a roller coaster. Right here we have the rooster. And here is the dog. And here we have the pig. Oink oink. Yeah, it makes me want some sausage. So you can see all the Zodiacs down through here we just looked at. And right here is the food trucks. We have three food trucks up here. And right there is the third one. All kinds of stuff. We got some noodles over here. This here is a Mediterranean style food truck. They got gyros and things like that. Lamb, really good stuff. And then over here, I'm trying to think what this was. Oh, this is the Japanese dumplings. This one here has been very popular. I don't know what this is, but this is pretty interesting looking if nothing else. Look at the chrome dome on this dude. <laughs> 
That is pretty wild looking. Got a deer with him. And right here we have the seven heavenly fairies. And right here's where their location is. They're actually right here next to the amphitheater itself where they have a show going on right now, which was really interesting earlier. I watched one of the first shows of the day at 530. And it was really, really cool. I highly recommend if you do come here to come check out these shows because they're pretty amazing and very popular. As you can see, just how many people are down here in this area to watch the show. I mean, that is quite the congregation of people right here in front of the castle. And you can see it's all lit up too. Very beautiful. And they do have quite a few selfie uh, opportunities here. So uh, they're very popular. So don't forget about them too. I think they got about two or three of them right in this area. But they're very similar to this. So this one here, this lantern is called the Venus of the White Star. That is pretty wild looking. I love all the colorful trees. It's like these bulbs on the trees are just dancing. And this one here is the Supreme Elderly Lord. See him on his, I don't know, some kind of a bull. Got this little guy back here. That's pretty neat looking. So now I thought I'd come over here and show you some of the t-shirts they have here available. Look at some of the designs they got. Short sleeve, 20 bucks. Here's a long sleeve. You can kind of see what they got going on here as far as t-shirt ideas and dollars. They're like 20 bucks, pretty, pretty common. Also get that with the uh, panda bear on it. Very cute. All right, my friends, we have made a full loop around the Lantern Festival. Now we're gonna to go to the center. We're gonna go right here to this like castle entrance here behind and we're gonna kinda of look around there. They got a few more things we're gonna look at and then we're gonna wrap it up and end this video today. So let's keep on rolling. That big peacock up there. Look at the entrance to this castle area. Is that not beautiful? I mean, how many times do I have gotta say that in this video? But I can't help it. I mean, I call it how I see it. So what do we got over here? We got some seesaws, but they're very brightly illuminated seesaws, man. These kids are loving the seesaws. I think this is really cool. Check this cannon out right over here. So right here is the cannon. You stand on it, it goes down there, it lights the wick, and then it puffs, poof. Hit you right in the face, that's pretty neat. And right here we have this big circle with illuminated stars. And when you touch the stars, some of them change color and they glisten and glimmer around. Everybody just playing star hopscotch. So right now I'm waiting in line to go in this room. Don't know what's inside. I just know the line's kind of long and people want to go in. So I'm that gum and I'm going to go in too. I'm going to bring you with me. We're going to see what's behind this curtain. We're trying to figure out. The curtain opens every once in a while and somebody comes out. But we're almost, it's almost our chance. It's almost our time. About to go in. Look at all those lights in there. Oh man, what the heck. Oh my gosh. Hello. Look at the floor. These little balls are like everywhere. little freaky. Kind of, uh, <laughs> it's kind of disorienting a little bit. <laughs> Check this out. Trying to make it through here. This is, uh, there's my wife. I found her in, the, in all this chaos. Just look at this. Look at the ceiling. So everyone is just kind of coming in here and taking selfies and pictures. Look at the floor. See my shoes? Look at that. And then look up at the ceiling. <laughs> Very bizarre. This is so cool. You like it, honey? It's pretty neat, right? We need to do this at our house. We need a room just like this. 
<laughs> All right. Let's see if we can uh, make our way out now. And let somebody else come in and and trip out. That was so cool. That was awesome. If you come here, make sure you look for that doorway right there. It's just a little building. You got an in and then you got an out. Definitely want to try this one. But that was pretty awesome. Pretty rad. All right, my friends, I have made it over here and we're going to walk down through the middle of this entrance to the stage area. It's like we have some rabbits down here and another performer. So right down here is the stage area where they will have these shows at, at various designated times through the day. It's really cool. The martial arts show they had, the, the monkey man. I mean, they had all kinds of cool stuff. We enjoyed ourselves so much down here watching the first show of the day. So definitely want to give that a chance if you come. All right, this here is called the Tree of Life. So they have these drums three drums is stationed around this tree and I guess as, as you drum on it it will make the tree dance and change colors and things like that as my wife is demonstrating we're going to hit this thing see if we can make it do anything oh yeah look at that we got the power <laughs> there you go look at that thing dance that is pretty cool looking oh that's beautiful fireworks at top all right and that will end it thank you for coming right here we have 2023 chinese lantern festival Cary, north carolina and here is the last lantern we see as we walk out but as we finish the outro since i did not get to show you the entrance to the festival all lit up because it was still daylight at that time we will do our outro out there in front of that so let's head that way all right friends i made my way out here to the front gate where you go in it's all illuminated now looking all beautiful and now we will end today's vlog right here all i gotta say is what a fabulous night really beautiful lanterns better than last year in my opinion i think it was that good uh highly recommend coming and check this out and uh come here to carry you got plenty of time i think it lasts all the way to like the first or second week of january go check them out on the website we will put that website in the uh description below and uh, make your plans to come out here and do it you got plenty of time over christmas so if you got time off there you go so that being said i am the hitchhiking yeti friends and i will see you in my next adventure thanks so much give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next adventure. Y'all stay safe out there and hope to see you again soon.